Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Han Jabour, Technical Marketing Engineering Leader, part of 3DNR. In this video, we're going to look at Cisco XDR integration with Email Threat Defense. And in this video, we're going to focus on how to actually perform the integration. In order to create any XDR integration, all you have to do is move into Administration Integration. And in this case, we're going to look at integrating Email Threat Defense. We're going to type email. You can see a secure email threat defense over here. It's quite simple. All you have to do is click enable. This will pivot you into email threat defense. If there is any actual authentication needed, you can re-authenticate into your environment if needed. And then it's gonna pivot you exactly into the page where you need to do the integration. All you have to do is say, authorize XDR integration. That's going to do a verification of your credential in the back end and do the integration automatically, which at the end is going to lead to an XDR integration. So you can see at the top XDR configuration successfully updated. But that means if I pivot back into my XDR environment, I could see the integration done and available. If I move into administration integrations, then I look at I filter by email, of course. Then I look only at my integrations. Then you can see secure email threat defense, Cisco secure XDR is integrated and connected. And this is the integration done. So that was simple, straightforward, and now it's working. You get all your contribution into incident creation, enrichment, and responses available. Hopefully this video has been informative for you guys and you've enjoyed it. Tune in to other videos.